my name is Fred. During the uh, initial onset of the uh, COVID lockdown, uh, our company, Silicon Technologies, decided to embark on a, a mission to help our frontliners. And uh, part of that mission is really to develop and design a, an affordable uh, powered air purifying respirator or PAPR, uh, and yet not compromising on quality. Uh, because we saw during the initial onset of this lockdown that there was a, a great demand for uh, pappers and unfortunately in the market right now there's probably just two different types it's either uh, known brands that are very very expensive and out of reach for the typical frontliners or um, you know the low cost uh, uh, pappers that, that's in the market right now uh, have questionable uh, certification especially for the HEPA filter uh, as you know, when it comes to uh, these respirator systems, the most critical thing is really the, uh, uh, the filter, right? So you have to make sure that the certification is there. And uh, we wanted to make something that addresses both. It's low cost, uh, that's affordable for our frontliners. At the same time, uh, we do not compromise on quality. Now, um, our company, Silicon Technologies, is actually an Internet of Things company. So it's, it, it, uh, our founders, uh, including myself, for all uh, engineers from UP Diliman, so uh, I'm an electronics engineer, some of the pa uh, partners are also electronics engineers, computer engineers, uh, and mechanical engineers. So we uh, work together in developing this uh, paper for you guys. And uh, we wanted to make sure that it, it passes all standards, right? So, uh, so we're very passionate about this because we really wanted to help out our, our, our frontliners. Now, uh, just to showcase what we have, what we've developed. So uh, I think the most critical, as I mentioned a while ago, is really the, the HEPA filter. So the, the HEPA filter, um, amongst all our product, uh, unfortunately, since our, this is a new product, uh, we don't have NOAA certification or FDA certification for this one. Uh, we're actually going through our FDA approval right now, but it's gonna take a while for us to get that certification. Uh, but this one, uh, we never compromise on what's the most critical. The, the HEPA filter that we have right now is uh, a rated H13, 99.97% uh, filtration, a 0 0.3 micron uh, HEPA filter uh, that is, was, is manufactured by Hollinsworth and Bose. Uh, now, we could actually, if for certain people that are very, very critical on uh, ensuring the safety of their doctors that, that's going to be using this, now we can even send the uh, links and information about our certification for the HEPA filter. So it's created by Hollinsworth and Bose, which is a US uh, international company that makes um, specialized uh, materials such as uh, you know, filters like this for clean rooms. So aside from the, filter, the, the certification, I think there's a lot of doctors that also ask us uh, you know, how long you use this HEPA filter. Now, our HEPA filter is corrugated, so it has four to five times more surface area uh, compared to a HEPA sheet. So because of that, normally our, the usage for this one is around, uh, it's very difficult to say, to be honest. Uh, however, typically it's like two to three months. If it's unused and it's in a sealed container, uh, sealed plastic, you know, you could store it up to like one year. If it's open, then it could be uh, used for up to six months, right? But uh, on average, probably two to three months before you replace if ever. Um, so that's one. On top of the HEPA filter, the uh, the heart of our uh, PAPR, or Powered Air Purifying Respirator, is really the air tube. This, we call it air tube, by the way. Uh, and the reason for this is, of course, the shape. It's, it's small. Um, so, uh, for one thing, the, the weight of our PAPR is very light. So, if you can see, it's a, there's a separate power pack uh, that uh, is connected to our uh, air tube. So, the entire weight of this thing is 1.2 kilograms, so it's very light. That's why you don't have to wear, uh, for some pappers, for example, they wear a harness. Uh, for us, even a belt would actually be uh, sufficient enough. Now, in terms of airflow, the, the minimum standard for airflows is actually 170 liters per minute. Uh, what we've made for our papper is 400 liters per minute or an average around 350 liters per minute. Uh, now, in terms of noise, uh, of course, the, one of the, the challenges of some of the doctors when using pappers is that they cannot hear people. So uh, one of the things that we uh, made sure of is we also controlled it. It's not completely silent. Uh, it's, it's rated right now at 59 decibels. So 59 decibels is just normal conversational noise, more or less. 
Now, uh, the power pack itself, uh, it takes probably around six hours to charge the power pack. Uh, but on a sustainable usage of the power pack, it can last seven to eight hours on a full charge. Uh, and as you can see, as I mentioned, it is uh, separate from the, uh, the air tube. So for, uh, for doctors that uh, undergo very long uh, OR procedures, uh, it can be swappable, right? So you can just remove it, connect it to another power pack uh, for continuous operations. Now, uh, the hood, we have actually have two versions now. You know, we, we've, one of the things that's very critical in designing this product for us is that we listen to our doctors. Whatever feedback's given to us, we listen to them. And uh, when we started off, we came up with our full hood. There's a skirt actually uh, with our hood that you insert uh, inside your, your PPE gown. Uh, if you want to, if you go into uh, procedures. But on top of that, doctors actually want to use it also for uh, rounds, basically. So we came up with an open ear version uh, for uh, not as secured uh, requirements. So this one is for operations or OR. This is just basically for uh, uh, rounds, doing rounds, right? Now the material of the hood itself, we wanted to make sure this is locally made, by the way. So all of all of our devices, although some of our components are imported from abroad, but they're assembled and majority of it is assembled and manufactured here in the Philippines. So this hood is manufactured in the Philippines, so it's easily available if need be. Now the, the material itself is taffeta, so this is two layers of taffeta with silver lining, which is uh, one of the few materials approved by DOH. Uh, that's for the material. And then one of the things also that we've taken into consideration is that uh, it can also be used for loops because some of the doctors like surgeons, they, they wear loops uh, and there's a clearance of around two and one fourth uh, inch uh, clearance from your eyes. So if you have a certain loop that's within that range, you can actually use your loops. Um, also another thing uh, with our hood is that the hood itself is actually uh, removable from the hood frame because there's actually a hood frame inside uh, so if you can see there's a hood frame there's a harness that's adjustable uh, for some uh, doctors that actually go through high infectious surgery normally after one use of the hood they actually dispose it it's more cost effective to replace just the hood um, but at the same time you can reuse the hood frame several times even the hood is actually washable as well right um, now, through innovation, we've actually improved our hoses as well. So first and foremost, our hose is very flexible. It's also very stretchable. Uh, and we've created different versions, right? So uh, we've created different versions for full masks. Uh, in the market right now, there's three very common full mask and half mask version. Of course, the most common is our 3M uh, full mask. So we created an adapter for that as well that you can, you can buy. Uh, like this, and then of course we also have a, a cap for that for the other end of the full mask. Uh, so we created one for a 3M full mask. We also created one for Shigematsu, same thing. Uh, there's a quick release for that one as well. And uh, lastly is we also created an adapter for the Honeywell masks. Now the Honeywell is a bit different. Unlike Shigematsu and 3M, they're both quick release. For Honeywell, it's a screw type, so we created an adapter. And of course, you could connect the, uh, the host uh, adapter to that, to that adapter for the Honeywell. So that's one. And of course, naturally, we also have the same uh, host for the hood itself. Now, other components that, that's included in the package on top of this one, because when we sell our, our paper, it includes already a filter inside. At the same time, we also provide you an, an extra filter. Uh, we pro provide a fast charger. Uh, and um, an airflow tester. Uh, so one of the actual ways to uh, really test the, uh, the filter is usually using a, an airflow tester. And it comes with a belt as well. Now, uh, to show you what it looks like when you're wearing it, so basically we have a, a belt here, a quick release belt, so I'm just gonna wear it. So once you have the, uh, the air cube, you can just connect it. And I'm going to show you how what it looks like when you're wearing the hood. Uh, right now, they're both the same. Actually, the hood that we have with the skirt and the one that's open ear, they're actually identical except for the fact that uh, with the open ear, there's no skirt. That's the only difference.
So this is it. So this is our hood. This is the open ear version. Again, as I mentioned, the one with the, uh, the skirt is identical to this one, except for the fact that there's a skirt here for our PP gowns. And this is what it looks like. So when I turn around, it's very light. Actually, there's different ways to actually wear the, uh, the air tube. Some of the doctors, uh, they prefer it uh, on either side of your waist because it distributes the weight. Because of course, as I mentioned, this is around 1.2 kilograms. The, the weight of the, the power pack and the weight of the, uh, the air tube is distributed if it's like this. But of course, some doctors would actually prefer wearing it also at the back. So it really depends on your preference. So it adds uh, a bit more flexibility uh, to that. Now, now uh, in terms of price point, ever since we released our pro uh, product back in uh, late July, uh, it's still under introductory price right now. So the one with the hood is at 19995 uh, and the one with uh, an adapter, so if you want to use it with your full masks, uh, that is at 16,995 pesos. Um, and of course, I think one of the things that we guarantee also is that uh, we provide very good after sale support. So we, we, we talk to our doctors, we support them if there's any, any issues, we try to help them because we, because we develop this one. We're very passionate about the product and we want to make sure that we can really make a difference. It's not a product just to earn money, it's really a product to help people out. So that's one of the things and uh, I think for us to be able to help them, we, we provide as much as we can, we help out our doctors. And we've actually released a lot of videos as well uh, on our YouTube channel. So you can visit our YouTube channel by typing in Silicon uh, Technologies and you can see all of the help videos that we've uploaded about how to clean your uh, respirator, uh, how to connect, how to replace the filter. All of these things are things that we've developed to be able to help our uh, doctors that uses this. Doctors are practitioners. Uh, and you know, for, for you guys, uh, please follow us on our Facebook page, uh, Silicon PH. Uh, or you can visit our website at https airtube.silicon.ph. That's it. Uh, thank you for your time.